Hi, Matt from Invarian here, and welcome to the tutorial video on using the Canvas tools in Rafa Plan. As you may already know, there's a number of tools available to you in the Canvas toolbar, as you can see here. I'll step through each of these now so you can get an idea as to how each one works. The first tool you have available to you here is the Toggle Base Map Visibility tool. Clicking this button when on a base map will turn it on and off in the background for you. This is a good idea if you're wanting to see your works on a blank canvas or if you're just using the base map as a guide in the background. The next button we have available is the Quick Share tool. The Quick Share tool allows you to save your plans to the Rapid Plan Cloud. You can either upload them to a default project or you can upload them to an existing or a new project. See the video in the description below for details on how to utilize the Quick Share tool. Next on the toolbar is the Zoom Slider. The Zoom Slider is very simple. If you left click and drag to the left, it will zoom out. And if you left click and drag to the right, it will zoom into your plan for you. Just right of that is a, a zoom drop down box uh, with a number of other selections. So you can click the zoom in button to zoom in, the zoom out button to zoom out. You also have a select an area to zoom to button. Clicking this, uh, you'll see that you've got a little uh, magnifying icon next to your mouse. If you left click and hold over a specific area, uh, it will zoom in to that uh, area that you specified. Uh, this is good if you're needing to do uh, any works that require um, close-up, um, such as delineators or putting in any lane markings. The next one we have is the adjust zoom to see the active print area. So if you click on this button, uh, it will align the borders of your print area to your canvas region. And the final one we have is the adjusting it to see all the objects in the plan. So if you left click on that, uh, it will put all of the objects that are currently on your plan into the frame of your region there. The next button on the canvas tools is the scroll to plan origin button. Clicking this button will take you back to the center of your plan. So if for some reason you scroll off your plan, you get lost, and you can't navigate back to where it is. If you click this button, it'll take you back to where you started. The measurement tools are the next one. Left clicking this will bring a little dialog box up in the left hand side of your uh, canvas area. As you can see, there's a number of selection uh, or measurement tools that you can use uh, to measure out certain areas of your plan. So just a quick demonstration here. If I measure between these two different points, it will put that measurement in for you. Uh, you can choose to save these measurements as diagram objects. So when you leave the uh, measurement tools dialog box, it will save on your plan. We also have a video for that um, that goes into more detail. Please see that in the description below. Coming across to our two specialized tools, uh, we have the fax mode and the sign designation mode. So clicking the fax mode, uh, as you can see here, will turn the plan black and white for faxing, um, or if you're simply just wanting to um, have the plan display in black and white, uh, you can have that set as well, and you can see it inverts the colors perfectly, um, so nothing's affected on your plan. And the other tool I mentioned is the sign designation mode. So clicking onto that button uh, will show the sign code under each of the in each individual sign. So this is the sign's uh, designated code. Um, each sign will have this within Rapid Plan. Next tools you have are the Add Legend box and Add Manifest box tools. Um, so this is simply just shortcuts to the um, annotation buttons that you have here. So if you're wanting to just quickly add a uh, legend and a manifest box, you can click these buttons here. The next button we have is the print frame tool. Uh, the print frame tool uh, is a, a really uh, efficient tool for um, applying different print frames to your plans. 
please see a video of that in the description below. Um, that'll be able to give you a guidance as to how the tool works. The next button we have is the Add Print Region tool. I'll open up another plan that I've got here to demonstrate the tool. So as you can see, I've got one print region around this set road here. Um, as you can see, it's quite a large plan, so you'll need it to be spread over multiple print regions. To add more print regions, we can come up to the drop-down box here, left-click, um, and I can match up my current print region with a new one. So we just need to see that it's a letter landscape uh, in landscape. So you just go letter, click on landscape, and then you can go ahead and add the additional print regions in. So now you can save all those print regions to one specific PDF file, or you can print them across uh, multiple different pages. Uh, the final tools we've got are the selection or grouping tools. Uh, so if I select a sign here, it brings up a number of different options. So you can ungroup, uh, rotate the sign, you can delete it, uh, flip it if required, uh, undo, and all your cut copy paste operations. So it's just a shortcut to your right click buttons that you've got here um, and also you've got the keyboard shortcuts that you can use for selection and grouping as well. That sums up how to use the canvas tools and wrapper plan. Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe below to be updated on new content at Invariant.